so next we are going to do the rate analysis of first class brickwork with standard brick sizes of 20 into 10 into 10 20 into 10 into 10 uh, centimeter nominal size of brick and and mortar which is used in brickwork in the ratio of 1 is to 6 so brick is first class brick size of the brick is 20 to 10 into 10 and the cement mortar which is used is 1 is to 6 that means 1 is cement and 6 is sand so we need to do the rate analysis of this particular item for 1 cubic meter of work okay so again uh, let us assume total uh, weight volume of work as 10 cubic meter total weight volume so this is the total weight volume of the brick work that means bricks and mortar out of this we have to calculate the quantity of bricks we have to calculate the quantity of cement as well as sand sand and cement mixture is called mortar with water sand cement and water mixture is called mortar so this is the 10 cubic meter is the volume of the total work so from this we need to find out the total volume of mortar so volume of we take volume of mortar is equal to 25 percent of total volume of total brickwork 25 percent means 0.25 total brickwork is 10 cubic meter so the volume of mortar is 2.5 cubic meter this is the volume of mortar okay now this is the weight volume of mortar sorry this is the weight volume of mortar the dry volume of mortar will increase by again 25 percent as we have seen in concrete that the dry volume increases by 52 percent but in case of mortar the dry volume by 25 percent so dry volume of the mortar of this particular work will be 2.5 cubic meter plus 25 percent of 2.5 cubic meter okay this becomes 2.5 and 25 percent of 2.5 is 0.625 which is equal to 3.125 meter cube this is the total dry volume of the mortar okay so from this dry volume of mortar we will be calculating the total quantity of cement and sand 3.125 so what is the ratio of mortar 1 is to 6 what is, what is the total of this ratio total of the contribution 1 plus 6 is equal to 7 so 3.125 so let us first calculate the quantity of cement so total dry volume was 3.125 total of the ratio is 7 multiplied by 1 because 1 is the contribution of cement so 3.125 divided by 7 becomes 0.45 cubic meter as we all know 
वन मीटर क्यूब ऑफ सीमेंट इज इक्वल टू थर्टी बैग्स सो पॉइंट फोर फाइव बिकम्स थर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव बैग्स सो फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर वर्क वी नीड थर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव बैग्स ऑफ सीमेंट फॉर टेन क्यूबिक मीटर ऑफ ब्रिक वर्क ओके Now let us calculate the quantity of sand. Sand. Again, three point one two five divided by seven, multiplied by six. So how much? Three point one two five divided by seven, multiplied by six. This comes to be two point six eight meter cube. So the quantity of sand is two point six eight meter cube. So we can assume the round figure. We can take two point seven meter cube also. Round figure. Okay. Now cement we have calculated. Sand we have calculated. What is the quantity of bricks? For ten cubic meter of work. Sorry, for one cubic meter of work. One cubic meter brick work. We can assume. Of uh, nominal size of brick to be five hundred, five hundred numbers of bricks. For one cubic meter of work, we can assume five hundred numbers of bricks. So here we are assuming ten meter cube, so five thousand numbers of bricks will be required in this particular work. So number of bricks we have got. Cement we have got and sand we have got. Okay. So again, after calculating all the quality quantities of brick, cement, sand, my need again, uh, cement you will have to calculate in terms of bags, not here, not like this. Here it is given in terms of uh, cubic meter. You should not calculate this in terms of bags. Uh, so in terms of cubic meter, you should cal be calculating this in terms of bags. So we have got thirteen point five bags multiplied by at the rate of four fifty rupees per bag. You calculate the total amount. Okay. So uh, sand, brick, cement, all these things we have covered. So these are the labor charges which are again fixed. So after adding all the labor and material charges, we again get the total materials and labor cost. Again, just like the previous cases, on the total cost, you add 1.5 percent water charge, 10 percent contractor's profit. Then you will be getting the grand total. And when you, uh, this whole work is considered to be for 10 cubic meter, and we are doing rate analysis per cubic meter. So uh, after getting the grand total, divide the grand total divided by uh, divide the grand total by 10 to get the rate per cubic meter. Because this grand total is for 10 cubic meter, and we need the rate per cubic meter. So divide the grand total by 10, where you will be getting the rate per cubic meter, which is 6173 rupees in this case. So, for uh, constructing one cubic meter of brickwork in one is to six cement mortar, the total cost will be coming. As six one seven three rupees per cubic meter, in this case. 